You know, it's interesting as I reflect over the last couple of weeks, I've been pretty fiery. I've had a lot going on. So not surprising. I've had some fiery conversations along the way. Yeah, I mean, multiple tough conversations with colleagues, with family members. A couple of conversations in particular got pretty heated and were full of disagreement. And as I step back to reflect reflect on my part in those conversations, because it's real easy to go to what they weren't doing that made me angry. Well, as I reflect on my part in those conversations, I see lots of opportunity for growth because I quickly go to anger and often make the situation so much worse. And as I really reflect on that and peel back the layers, oh gosh, I don't want to disappoint anyone. And when I feel like I've done something wrong, I jump to defending to rationalizing. I want them so badly to see my heart that I am good. I'm not the bad person that I think they think I am. (laughs) So really, it's all about me. I am reactive. What ends up happening in those situations is instead of saying what I just said, I say something really mean and hurtful. So I'm recognizing that this is a growth point for me. And I'm paying attention in those moments to what's happening within me and having the, the maturity to pause and not react because I don't need to say anything in those moments. I need to be still. As Dr. Thelma Bryant says, it's a good one. Have the maturity to know that sometimes silence is more powerful than having the last word. This is why I do this podcast, so that I can remind myself of these important growth opportunities. I'm leaning in hard to that today. Having the maturity to know that sometimes silence is more powerful than having the last word. What a great way to take care of ourselves and ultimately each other.